if a member of Congress who is going to object to electors that were fraudulently sent there and a state has sent two sets and I don't have standing to go to court and say the the Elector so, so, Act, it it has got an unconstitutional provision. If I don't have standing to do that, nobody does. So, and if the apart, appropriate defendant is not the vice president that under the Constitution has the power to make that determination, then there is no. But if bottom line is, the court is saying, we're not going to touch this. You have no remedy. Uh, basically, in effect, mm -hmm. the ruling mm -hmm. would be that you got to go to the streets and be as violent as Antifa and BLM. Well, cause let me ask you, Congressman Gomer. Yes, you heard that correctly. Texas Congressman Louis Gomer is basically calling for violence in the streets because his ridiculous lawsuit that even Mike Pence called a walking contradiction got thrown out of court by a Trump appointed judge. This is what the judge had to say. The problem for the plaintiffs here is that they lack standing. Plaintiff Louis Gomer, the United States representative for Texas's first congressional district, alleges at most an institutional injury to the House of Representatives. Under well-settled Supreme Court authority, this is insignificant to support standing. Basically saying, you got nothing. Get out of my courtroom. But whatever, we all knew that this lawsuit was going to get thrown out. I mean, at least if you weren't completely pilled, you knew this lawsuit was going to get thrown out. I mean, basically what Gomer was asking the judge to do is set aside what we've been doing. What we've been doing the last 100 plus years, that that's completely wrong. We want to do it this other way. Uh, and, because that way we can win. That's what we want you to do, judge. Just completely subvert our democratic process we've been using since the 1800s for this new way we want to try. That's what a sitting member of Congress was doing. And now, but what I, you know, the, the worst part about it and why I wanted to make this video and talk about it is because he did not get his way with his ridiculous lawsuit that had no merit, no standing, no, there, just no validity to these claims at all whatsoever. I mean, we've, I mean, to say we've gone off the rails at this point, it, it just, it's lost all meaning because I've, I've been saying it every day more and more. I mean, you guys that follow me know I've been saying it every single day, basically, since the election. I mean, before the election, but since the election, I mean, we just continue to go off the rails and it's just, it's lost all meaning. I don't even know. Uh, there's no rails anymore. Uh, there's nowhere to go anymore. We're just, we're just in some deep sinking hole that just uh, somehow just keeps, it's like quicksand. It just keeps going down and down and down because we are, have, congressmen calling for violence in the streets because they did not get their way with a ridiculous fake lawsuit. And I cannot imagine uh, if this was coming from the other side, if this was AOC or Bernie Sanders or Ilhan Omar. Can you imagine if Ilhan Omar was to say, we did not get our way on this vote. We need to have violence in the streets. Like, I think Sean Hannity's head would explode and we have sitting members of Congress doing this. And I, I just feel like we need to be making a bigger deal out of this. I'm filming this video at like two o'clock in the morning, the night that he said this. So I don't know, maybe more people will be talking about it in the morning when I release this video, but this is absurd. And I, I, I almost think he should have to step down for this because what will Louis Gomer say if something does happen? I mean, I know he's just playing this up. This is all just a game for him to get brownie points with Trump. But what is Louis Gomer going to do and say if, you know, one of the Proud Boys that's already been told to stand back and stand by takes his words, you know, as a call to action to get in the street and God forbid do something on the 6th or on Inauguration Day? I mean, this isn't a joke. People are taking this seriously. Lots of people, lots of elected officials, people, just regular everyday people that have put their, have gotten death threats just for doing their job, whether it's counting votes or being part of the election process. There's been uh, bomb threats, death threats. There's been several QAnon people who have threatened people. There was an incident in Philadelphia. This is not a joke. You're on TV as an elected official 
calling for people to get in the street and do violence like Antifa and BLM, which is just a horseshit you know, comparison all around, but that's another video for another day. But I just think this whole thing is very, very absurd, and I think Louis Gomer should have to step down immediately for being highly irresponsible. Uh, but yeah, anyway, I just wanted to make this video real quick. Let me know what you guys think about this in the comments section. Uh, you can follow all my social medias. They're down in the description. Uh, if you like my content, make sure to subscribe, uh, hit the bell for notifications and yeah, thanks for watching. Peace.